Hey, first graders. Okay, today I am going to read you part of a book of poems that I enjoyed when I was little. It's called Ride a Purple Pelican. So I thought I'd read some of them today and some of them tomorrow. So here we go. These are rhymes by Jack Perlet. So I'll show you the pictures as I read it. Justin Austin skipped to Boston dressed in dusty jeans. He sipped a drop of ginger pop and ate a pot of beans. Rumpity tumpity rumpity tum. Buntington Bunny is beating the drum. He doesn't look up and he doesn't look down. All through the rumpity tumpity town. Not a fun looking bunny. He twitches his nose as he tramps through the street, stamping his rumpity tumpity feet. Rumpity tumpity rumpity tum. Buntington Bunny is beating his drum. So that's Buntington Bunny. Late one night in Kalamazoo, the baboons had a barbecue. The kudus flew a green balloon. The poodles yodeled to the moon. We're back there. A monkey strummed a blue guitar. A donkey, a donkey caught a falling star. A camel danced with a kangaroo. Late one night in Kalamazoo. Rudy rode a unicorn. Its mane was silver spun, and west from Nova Scotia, they raced before the sun. They soared above Toronto, then north to Winnipeg. They swooped into the Yukon and found a golden egg. Poor potatoes underground, never get to look around. Do not have a chance to see a butterfly or bumblebee. A couple pollinators. Poor potatoes never look at the fishes in the brook, never see the sunny skies. What a waste of all those eyes. Did you know that's what the little spots and divots on a potato are called? They're called eyes. Isn't that funny? Eyes that never see. What kind of bird do you think that is? See the red bellies? Reddish orangish? Those are robins. Two robins from Charlotte set out on a stream. They rode to Savannah for peaches and cream. The peaches were sweet, so those two little birds remained in Savannah for seconds and thirds. Have you ever had peaches and cream? I love peaches, and they're really good with cream. Look at those huge trees. Tiny, tiny people. Johnny had a black horse. Jenny had a gray. And west of Colorado, they rode one summer day. They rode to California to see the giant trees, then galloped to the rocky coast to feel the ocean breeze. There are trees that are huge that people can actually drive through in California. They're really cool. I was there last summer. Look at those girls in their different outfits. When Molly Day wears yellow clothes, finches flutter by her toes. When she's in her bright blue gown, peacocks trail her through the town. When Molly Day is dressed in red, hummingbirds surround her head. But when she wears her suit of gray, no one follows Molly Day. So when she is wearing happy colors and when she's showing joy, people want to be around her, and so do animals. Little Pink Pig in Arkansas danced a jig with his mother-in-law. She wore silk and he wore straw. Little Pink Pig in Arkansas. Ooh, do you remember who else dances the jig that we talked about? The leprechaun.
Grandfather Gander flew over the land. He flew to Rhode Island and sat in the sand. A goose and her gosling sat down by his side, and they all sailed away on the afternoon tide. Baby geese are called goslings. Oh, Pennington Poe, your auto won't go. Your truck is so rusty, it's stuck in the snow. Your horses are sleepy, your donkey is slow. And that's why you're weeping, poor Pennington Poe. And I think we'll do one more. Look at that. That's pretty. Where do you think that is? Hmm. Up here, if you look closely, do you see the shapes that make up the Earth, the continents? Looks like North America, South America, that would make this Africa, Europe. Naughty little brown mouse, whiskers on his face, stowed aboard a rocket bound for outer space. They lifted off from Houston on Tuesday afternoon. The mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. Did you know people think that the moon looks like it's made out of cheese? So that's where they got their idea for that poem. Okay, so I hope you had fun with some of those and we'll read the rest of them tomorrow. Have a great day.